What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Apple II and Apple II GS systems and I'm going to be showing you guys how to operate these systems. So let's go ahead and get started and select Apple II right here. And if you look at the bottom right, as usual, if you see any sort of icon there, like you see now there's a keyboard and an Xbox controller, that's letting you know that this is going to be primarily a keyboard system. Now for games that do support it, you can use the Xbox controller as your joystick, but that's something that you can choose in the game. And uh, you know, you're know you're still going to need a keyboard even with those games. You know That's how this system was originally back in the day. It was a full blown computer with a keyboard and that's why you need a keyboard. All right, so with that said, let me show you guys a few things. Let's go ahead and start up one game here. I'm gonna start up this 20, uh, 22 1b baker street um now one thing to note here is if you look at the title and you see that it says disc one right disc one side a anything that says disc one means that it has multiple discs and you're not going to see those multiple discs here in the main menu because there's no point because you cannot start a game from disc two three four etc so you'll see the first disc but that gives you a clue that this game is going to require other discs and it's going to ask you for other discs whether at the beginning or at some point during the game so i'm going to show you guys how to select other discs so first let's start with this game and let's start it up okay and i'm using my keyboard here just pressing enter and we're just going to let it load Okay, so it's asking me some questions here. How many players? I'm just gonna type in number one with the keyboard. And for name, I'll just put anything. And here's what I was talking about. Some games will ask you, um, you know, if you're using a joystick or not. So if you say yes, then you can go ahead and control the, uh, you know, the, your character with the Xbox controller. Now, you have to have the Xbox controller plugged in before you start the game you have it needs to be plugged in and turned on right now i did not have it plugged in and turned on so if i select yes and turn on my my xbox controller it's not going to work it needs to be turned on before you start the game so i'm just going to say no so that i can just use but the keyboard uh, to control the the action so no to that uh do you want coded clues that's just a game feature i'll say yes sure and it's asking me if everything looks okay so i'll say yes again with the Y and uh, okay, return, which is enter. Uh, there's some code that apparently I need for this game at some point. So C5, okay, enter. And here you select your character. So I'm gonna select Sherlock Holmes with the number one and I'm gonna press enter. Okay, here's what I was talking about. Now it's asking you to flip the disc to select the cases, right? So here's what you can do. With the mouse or your trackball, you can either come over here to the right and as you hover over the, the right side over here, right around this area, you're gonna see some icons that pop up like this. Now, you can also do Alt on the keyboard, Alt and Enter, and that's gonna take it out of full screen mode and then you can see those same icons right here, okay? So I'm gonna go to disk two and I'm gonna click on it and then over here, on top here, I'm gonna click on Apple II, and there are all my games, okay? Now we're playing this uh, 221B Baker Street game, and it's asking me to insert, uh, what is this saying? Insert disc for cases, okay? So if you look here, these, these are labeled, and this one says disc two case. So I'm gonna double click on that one, and I'm gonna select this file right here, and do open. 
Okay, so now I have that loaded into, into the slot number two. So what I want to do now is click this uh, icon right here that's going to flip the disks and it's going to put this one on two and the one that's on one is going to put it on, I'm sorry, it's going to put this one on one and the one that is on one is going to put it on two. So it's going to flip them around. So I'll do that. And after that, I can press enter. And now you have the, uh, the cases right here that you can choose from. So I'm going to select number one and press enter. All right, so now I want you to put the program disk back in. So I believe that was already loaded before, so I'll just swap the disks right around and I'll press enter. So there you go, the game started up. Now, if at some point it tells you to insert disk one side B or anything like that, same thing, you can go over here, click on there, go back up here to Apple II, click on there, and look for the game that you're playing, which is 221 B Baker Street, and there's disk one side B. So you would open up this folder, select this file, open, and then go ahead and flip your disk so that that one is in slot one, and you would be able to continue playing the game. It's okay, guys, so that's going to be pretty much the gist of this, this system. I know it seems like, you know, a wonky kind of setup, but, you know, that's how this system was originally, and it's emulated exactly like the real thing. So this is all things that you had to do with the original Apple II. Um, so if you guys grew up with this, you'll know about this. Like I said, if, if, if you didn't, um, you know, it's not really something that I would add personally to to my systems list. This is more for people that actually uh, kind of grew up with this system, or even if you have an interest in kind of checking out the Apple II, if you always kind of wanted to, but never got a chance to. Um, but other than that, I would skip it because it's just, you know, it's, it, it's kind of like an acquired taste. All right, so I'm gonna full screen this again with Alt Enter. That'll take you back into full screen and I'm gonna exit the game. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Apple II GS. Now, the Apple II GS is going to be very similar. So again, if you go into it, on the bottom right, you have the keyboard and the joystick, which again, lets you know you need a keyboard for the system. And it's the same idea as the Apple II. It's just a different emulator, so it works a little bit differently, but let me show you. So again, on the bottom, you have this game here, 2088, the Krillian Mission, and that one says USA Disk 1, right? So that tells you there's going to be other disks for this game. So let's go ahead and start it up. And this is going to take this is going to take some time to load. It's a slow uh, system, so it emulates everything just like back in the day. So it's going to take as long as it did back then. So we'll just let it do its thing, and then it's going to ask us to insert a disk. Well, right here, it's telling you, you know, select. So I'm going to leave it on the first option there, and I'm going to go to launch and click on that. With my mouse, if you have a trackball, you can use that as well. Okay, and now it's asking you to insert disk outdoors 2088 so on this emulator you're going to right click on the screen and that brings up the options okay so then it's kind of the same idea as the other one as the apple II. on this one though you select this first slot right there and then you go to this you click on this button right here and again it opens up the uh you know it opens up windows explorer and then you can select the game so we're going to go over here to apple gs2 and then you look for the game that you're playing, which is the Krillian Mission right here. Now, on this one, if you if you look at the Krillian Mission, the second scenario, which is a different game, these are actually labeled at the end here, System, Program, and Outdoor. And this is asking us for Outdoor, right? Now, we're not playing this game, we're playing this game, and this one is not labeled. So you kind of have to guess or just try each one. It's never going to be number one, and most likely it's not going to be number two. but Starting with number two to four, you would try each one until you find which is the outdoors disc. Now, I already know it's disc number three, just like it was here. So I'm going to select that one. And I'm going to select this file right here and do open. 
Then once I do that, I'm going to close this out and I'm going to click OK. And there you go, the game started up. Now, same idea here. Some games do support a joystick, so the Xbox 360 controller will work, but you need to have it on before you start the game in order to use it, okay? Hey guys, so real quick, I'm editing this after the fact. Um, I missed something when I made the initial tutorial, and that is that for Apple, uh, for Apple 2GS, the module supports uh, changing discs right from the pause menu. I hadn't noticed that before. So, and actually Apple two does as well, but it, I couldn't get it to work properly. So, um, you know, for Apple two, do it the way I showed you, but for Apple two GS, you can actually do it from the pause menu. So for those of you guys that have the extension controller, the pause menu is accessed when you press the menu button. And for those of you guys that have the X arcade joystick, the pause menu, you know, I call it a special pause, is accessed by pressing the, um, on the player two side, you have, you know, you have your six buttons and then you have the two at the bottom. One of them is, the left one is special pause and the right one is just regular pause. So if you press the left one, it's gonna bring up the menu. So I'm gonna do that right now. And just so you know, it is on the, on, on the keyboard is the equivalent of forward slash, okay? So I'm gonna show you in this game, right? I showed you how to do it manually before. Now, if, if this method doesn't work for a certain game, um, you can always do it the old the way I just showed you before uh, manually, but you should be able to just do it like this. So, all right, so this is the first screen you get for, you know, the, for this game. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on launch. Okay, then it comes up and it asks to insert the disc outdoors 2088. So again, before I showed you how to do it manually, but you can actually just go into the special pause menu using the buttons I just told you about. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then if you look there to the right, it says change disc. So you actually, you know, you scroll over to it with your joystick, change disc, then you press down on the joystick, you select the disc you want to change to, and then you press your enter or select key. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do disc three because I know that for this game, disc three is the outdoors disc. Again, if it doesn't have it labeled, some of them will actually have the label of each disc. So disc three will say outdoors, but if it doesn't, you kind of have to guess and try each one until you get the right one. So on this one, I know that is it's uh, disc three, so I'm gonna select it, press enter. You're gonna see some stuff happening on the screen. It's basically doing what I just show you how to do for you. So then once it does that, you can just go ahead and click okay. And then the game will uh, continue. All right guys, so basically you don't have to really do it manually. You can just go to the pause menu, go to change disc and select the disc that you wanna change to and then you'll be good to go. All right, so I think that's about it, guys. All the games are pretty much the same idea where you're gonna have um, multiple discs, and now not all games have multiple discs, but a lot of them do. So again, same same process. If it asks for a disc, just for this one, right-click and select your disc. For the Apple II, you know, Alt, Enter to take it out of full screen mode, or you can just hover over that right section over there where the icons will show up and you load your second disc and uh, you go from there. All right, so that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope it's helpful, and I will see you guys on the next one.